Tonight, all parks on Bell County Lakes closed by flooding are open and they are ready to go for the 4th of July. Yeah, good news here because it was touch and go with all the rain we've had. This comes after higher lake levels forced many to close for around two months and kind of washed out Memorial Day weekend. Curtis Quillen is here. Curtis, what about the lakes in Waco and up in Whitney? Well, guys, Lake Waco is back to normal levels and most of its parks are back open. Some are still closed and while Lake Whitney is also back to normal levels, most of its parks are at least still partially closed, but the possibility of debris under the water and other safety concerns have them urging caution on all of them. Yes, we don't have to travel as far. <laughs> it's good news for lake goers in Central Texas. As of today, uh, July 1st, every single park on Belton Lake and on Stillhouse Lake is open. That comes after flooding earlier in the spring shut down most parks on every lake in Central Texas. After being closed for Memorial Day, officials were able to achieve the goal set to reopen for the 4th of July. Uh, that is due to a, a huge effort by a group of volunteers that we have working within the Corps of Engineers and the maintenance and the park ranger staffs over the last few months to get those parks up to snuff and ready for the 4th of July holiday. A lot of tournaments had to get shut down. Uh, I'm part of Bass Federation Nation with Syntex Bass Hunters and it, all, it affected us because the state championship had to be moved. We had to move it to another lake. Randy Fleeman is part of the Syntex Bass Hunters, a group which helped clean up parks on Stillhouse Hollow and Monday night was cleaning up near the Belton Dam. He said the lake closures forced changes to area fishing tournaments, meaning fishermen weren't staying in area hotels because they weren't in the area then. I know there was a lot of people worried about it. Um, it's not just us. There's there's a lot of other clubs like us that like to fish this lake. So as people begin to flock to the lakes this summer with lake levels back to normal, officials are asking everyone to use caution. There are a few uh, damaged items still on lakes. There are a few courtesy docks that are, are not completely repaired. Uh, we would ask that if there is a uh, yellow caution tape on the uh, courtesy docks, uh, please don't use them. Now, if you'd like to help as the work to clean up continues on all the area lakes, we will have lake office phone numbers on KCENTV.com.